So in this video I'm going to quickly run through some of the new features within Sol V5. This isn't all the features and I'm not going to go in depth in all of them as they all have their respective videos or they're included in the videos that are necessary to them in this playlist. So go through this YouTube playlist if you want to see in depth videos on all of these features. But this is just an overview of what you can expect to be new in Sol V5. The first thing is the advanced tab. You can add sites at the bottom for Adidas and then all Shopify sites. You can then store accounts for them, shipping rates and payment gateways as well in the Shopify ones. And this will allow for easier account management mainly when you're creating Shopify and Adidas tasks. Some sound notifications have also been changed such as when a capture is requested. Desktop notifications have also been added. Let me see if I can get one to pop up for you here. So these two tasks have just carted and notifications with a sound have shown up at the bottom of my screen. You can also select multiple tasks at once, so it might be hard to see on the video. But if I hold control, I can select multiple tasks at once. You can see that these Adidas tasks have now slightly changed colour because I've selected them. Then once they're selected, I can mass edit, for example, and then go to selected tasks. So if I only want to mass edit a few of my tasks, I can do that with the control and select button. Furthermore, I can also hit control and A. This will also select all tasks within the grid. Um, and there's also additional options when right clicking the outer task table on the header row. So here you can see I can duplicate tasks, start tasks, stop tasks and delete tasks that I've selected. And I can also start tasks for the different sites. So I have tasks for KIF and Adidas. So I can right click at the top and select tasks for KIF and Adidas US and then start them themselves. There's also specific and import proxies. If I go to the new proxies tab, which now has proxies groups, if you want to know about proxy groups, go to the proxies video. But there's also when adding proxies, now import, so you can import them from a text file as well as just adding them in here. There's also generate checkout URL and use checkout URL when creating Shopify tasks. So if you go to the mode over here, you can generate checkout URLs. These are similar to prep tasks from previous versions so you'll be able to generate the checkout URLs here and then you'll be able to use them using the stored checkout under the options. These replace prep tasks in Sol V5. Under options is also a forced queue option. This is for the likes of the most recent drops with very high bot protection such as Easy Supply. This is where you must wait in the queue and there's not really any ways to bypass them. So this is used on the most recent Shopify updates where the bot protection is extremely high and you can just have a lot of tasks trying to force its way through the queue. There's also login to specific stores for Shopify. So if I go to an, uh, a site that I have accounts loaded for such as Bodega, I can now see under the login. I would used to have had to type my username and password in on each task, whereas now pairing this with the advanced tab, I've got my logins that I've loaded here and I can simply go through them and create a task with each login for Bodega here, for example. I can also log into an existing Adidas account, so a lot of users were having issues with the account gen because in Sol V4 you had to generate an account at the time you were doing the task, you couldn't use a pre-generated account, whereas now in Sol V5 you can choose log into an existing account, and then as I've just mentioned, pairing this with the advanced tab, you can load Adidas accounts into the Adidas section of the advanced tab, and then use these um, existing account logins here. You can also right click the Adidas accounts to copy them. A few of the less visible changes are that you can clear the Shopify monitor log and task log. There's better detecting of successful carting in Adidas and the scroll bars have been uh, redesigned within the UI as well. There's also improved performance and stability along with improved bot loading times which you might realize when you first open Sol V5. As I said, these are more explained in depth further on in videos in this playlist, but this is just an overview of some of the new features that you can use and expect within Sol V5.